I'm going to be showing you how to get around the 403 Roblox error code that will pop up on your screen and say authentication bit. If you guys need any help with this, go make sure to check out my website linked below. It will kind of explain a little bit more. But this is going to be the basic two ways that I know to fix this problem. So the first way is actually you're going to want to go ahead and open up Roblox, the actual player for it, the Roblox player, not the website. And a lot of times what will happen is you'll be banned. And because you're banned, you're going to create a new account on like Chrome or whatever and click play. And it's going to try to launch launch the Roblox player that's still logged into the ban account and Roblox is going to basically just say no you can't do that you're gonna have to you know wait or whatever because you're banned essentially all you have to do is log into the ban account and it will basically say pop up on, with your ban message on it and just click log out once you guys have clicked log out then go log into your new account and it's gonna let you play and basically that's gonna fix it completely you should have no problems after you do that now, the next way involves a little bit more computer skills. I mean, it's not that much. You can just follow along with what I'm doing, but this is how you're going to want to do it. So the first thing you guys want to do is close out Roblox, and you guys are going to want to click Windows R, and you're going to open up your app data folder, click OK. Then once you guys have gone ahead and done that, you're going to want to go to your app data folder, click Local, and scroll down until you find Roblox. Right here, here's Roblox, and then go ahead and just delete that. So once you guys have gone ahead and deleted that, make sure to go ahead and actually go and delete the Roblox player completely uninstall this from your computer uh, through the apps folder thing and once you guys have done that reinstall it and try opening it up and that should fix your problems so those are the two ways that I know that you guys can actually go ahead and bypass the Roblox 403 error so if this video does help you guys at all please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one